This is my Westinghouse solar panel. And as seen in a previous video, I'll be uh, using the end phase inverter to convert the DC electric from the solar panel into AC. And I'll be building a uh, plug and play device for this. Or I'll make the end phase inverter into a uh, plug and play. So we can just plug the end phase with uh, the power comes out of this cable here and I'll plug it right into uh, an outlet and I'll be able to get my solar panel on the grid. Alright, I'm going to be demonstrating how to turn the uh, end phase on my Westinghouse solar panel into a plug and play unit. So I here have here the end phase cable and I'm going to be attaching it to a three-pronged 240 volt plug which you can get at Lowe's. I'm going to feed 240 volts into this outdoor Eaton panel as the plug so my Westinghouse solar panel which will be attached to this will plug right in there to the outdoor rated plug box and I've got a few accessories to go with the plug box here's the it's a 30 amp of course our end phase unit will only be putting out uh, one amp of current but uh, yeah this is overrated so if we want to add more panels or something in the future we could do that you're also going to need a hub this will the hub will go on the top of the Eaton box. You'll need a couple of fittings, an adapter. This uh, is a one and a quarter inch hub. It'll have a uh, one and a quarter inch fitting, a reducer that'll go from one and a quarter to one inch. I've got some one inch PVC uh, electrical conduit, which I'll cut. one inch PVC fitting will go into our meter socket our meter socket and the meter socket is just an uh, additional unit I'm adding kind of for fun so I can see the uh, energy generated by my solar panel directly at the uh, the source and I got a one inch cap that will go into my meter socket and so that's all you'll uh, need to get started with your plug and play solar project. So your end phase cable, this this unit will connect to the end phase. You also get an end cap with your Westinghouse kit to connect on the other uh, terminal of the end phase. And it comes with the wiring instruction set. And I've just wired the black, red, and blue neutral to the black, red, these would be our lines, lines one and line two, and our blue to our neutral pin on our plug, and the orange wire is not connected to anything. So the orange is an unused wire, black is line one, red is line two, and blue is neutral, and these are for the 240 volt AC split single phase wiring and I'll just put the, the cap on and this this plug will be ready to interface with our end phase unit so this is what my fully assembled unit looks like my uh, plug unit and uh, meter this is my completed power cord that we'll be plugging into the end phase. It's the Eaton box. With our three plug terminal. Our lines coming into the home will be attached to that grommet. 
and the lines, the load lines or the uh, house lines will connect into these uh, weatherproof wire nuts and the PV power will come into this socket, go up into the meter base, into the uh, this PV grade utility meter or utility grade PV meter. Um, power from the solar plug will come up to the top to the line side utility terminals. Power will go through the meter, exit to the load side prongs oh, with the red wires. And the red wires will come back into our housing. We'll wire into these wire nuts and attach to the little grounding bar. And then out back to the main panel. And we'll back feed the utility. Yeah. Next step will be putting this out in the yard with the solar panel. So I got my uh, meter socket all tap conned in and ready to go. I'm about to put the meter in. Got my Westinghouse solar panel ready to go here. So this meter should just snap right in there. Alright, I'm just about to get my end phase unit ready here. I've got my little end cap plug. And I got my little uh, plug, end phase plug unit here. And I've just tightened that the end of this end phase plug into the other end phase cable here. Alrighty. So I'm ready to plug in. I just want to do one last test of the electric. Uh, electrical voltage. Alright, so got 242 volts here. So, should be ready. Alright, this is the moment of truth here. Our end phase unit is plugged in. It'll take a few seconds to initialize and then we should see the meter, uh, meter start to spin backwards. Alright, I just plugged in my PV panel and wait a few seconds for it to, uh, to power up. You could say it's a hazy day here in Pittsburgh, but you still see our kilowatt hour meter ticking away 